In this video, we are going to look at two useful Chrome extensions to enhance Google Meet. As more and more teachers are using Google Meet for virtual remote instruction, there are two specific extensions that will make a teacher's life much easier. So the first extension is Google Meet Grid View. Now, if you've had Grid View before, you still might need to update or add a new extension. So you'll know that if you have Grid View already installed, if you have this grid with a line through it or not, when you're in a Google Meet. Now I know that Google Meet has added the option to change the layout, but Grid View is an extension that is needed for other Google Meet extensions as well. So if you do not have Google Meet Grid View, you will wanna make sure that you add the Google Meet Grid View fix to Chrome. The link to the Chrome Web Store for Google Meet Grid View is in the description of this video, so you can add that to Chrome. If you already have it, it will just say remove from Chrome. You will see Grid View, this icon with the grid. That means you have Grid View installed. You can also check whether you have the current release or not. If you don't have the current release, you want to remove the old Grid View and add the new one. Now with Grid View, you have the option to only show participants with the video. Um, you can highlight the speakers and you have some additional options as well with Grid View. Google Meet Grid View is a requirement for the next extension that I wanna show you, which is Google Meet attendees and breakout rooms. So as we are looking at using Google Meet for remote instruction, it's important that we have a way to take attendance without going to the people tab and looking at all of your students one by one. So instead, I use the Google Meet attendees and breakout room extension. In the Chrome Web Store, it has this person icon. And again, this link is shared in the description of this video. Once you are in Google Meet, notice I have the grid view icon, and then right next to it, I have this little person. This is the attendees and breakout room icon. So when you hover over this person, it pops up with the attendance box. To take attendance in your Google Meet, you just click this refresh button. And what it does is it puts everyone into grid view, and then it will list all of your students. Now you might be looking at this and saying, well, how is this different from the people tab in Google Meet, and really it's not. The best part about this extension is the comparison list. So when you click on show comparison list, you have these different options and you can load your list. So I have loaded all of my lists for my hybrid classes. And when you load the list, you can type all of your students' names, you can save it as the class period, and when you click on load list, so I click on load list and I have all of my students' names, you click on compare, and down here in the results, you will see X's next to all of the students who are not in attendance. You will see a green check mark for those who are in attendance. And then you have question marks for those who are in your meet, but they are not in your list. Now, it does take just a little bit of time to get all of your rosters into your class lists, but once they're there, they're always there for you. So then it makes it easier for you to take attendance in a Google Meet, so whether you have all of your students, half of your students, or maybe just a few students. So when you wanna use this for breakout rooms, you can click on Show Group Generator, and here is where you can choose how many groups you want and how many users per group. So if you want four students per group, and you want six groups, you can click on generate groups and it will put all of your students into a group. You can then copy the groups, you can copy the meet links, or you can reset the meet links. So what this will do is this will place all of your students into separate groups, which will be into separate Google Meets. And you can copy the meet links and you can paste them in the chat. And then those are the meet links. Those are your created breakout rooms. So once, if you're enterprise, once you have the breakout room feature, you don't have to worry about this. Same thing with attendance. Once the attendance feature in enterprise goes live, you won't have to worry about attendance either. But for those that are just Google for Education, this is a separate way to have breakout rooms as well as to take attendance.